Now we turn our attentions to the 6,200 pound lightweight super stockers here this afternoon. And up number one. I'm Kevin Ashry from Milledgeville, Tennessee, driving the Evening Thunder case. Hey, I understand your sister let you drive tonight, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Brian Schaefer, Spencer, Wisconsin, drive the 8210 Ford called the Bull Rush. All right, we got some blue here. Uh, Jay Fuquay from Springfield, Tennessee, driving a MX270 called Tenacious. Tenacious, little super stalker. Uh, Daryl Meese, Oblong, Illinois, we drive the squealer. Watch that John Deere, ladies and gentlemen. Al Cook from Indianapolis, Indiana, driving an Aggo called the Entertainer 2. All right, we got some orange there. Tom Wilhite, Bartstown, Kentucky, the 8260 New Holland Blue Blazes. All right, we got the Blue Blazes here. All right. Kevin Falks driving the walking tall Ford out of Crittenden, Kentucky. All right, another good Ford. Mark Plazik from Dorchester, Wisconsin, driving an 8260 New Holland called the Bomb. The Bomb is here. David Chapel out of Washington, Kentucky, driving a Farmall 560 called Let It Ride. All right. Joe Womble from Trenton, Tennessee, driving an International 1066 called the Wampus Cat. All right, the Wampus Cat. Yes, sir. Larry Phillips from Vine Grove, Kentucky, supporting a MX-285 alcohol edition. Oh, we got a new tractor here. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to tell you who this guy is. This guy's name is Randy Payne, ladies and gentlemen, and he is from Mount Hermon, Kentucky, and he's lost his voice. So let's give him a nice round of applause. John Hall out of Wapon, Wisconsin, driving the Wampum Mini Mole. Wampum Mini Mole, by the way, he drives a John Deere, so I better let everybody know that too. Ivan Carroll from Clarence, Missouri, drive a 570 cockshut called the Levee Leaper. All right, the Levee Leaper. And last but not least, John Lancaster from Trafalgar, Indiana, driving the Entertainer, House Chalmers D21. All right, John is back with us after many, many years. Ladies and gentlemen, what a great field of super stocks we've got. Let's give them a nice round of applause, and let's give all the pullers a nice round of applause. And here we come, twin turbochargers, big ones. Running on alcohol. You have to have the block in which the tractor was designed. Then you make your own head. Literally make the head. Convert it to alcohol. Turbocharged alcohol engines. All right, here we go now with Mr. Essery here on board. Let's watch him go to work here. John Deere fans, don't you say a word. <laughs> Red fans, don't you talk. Well, that's a shame. I'll tell you, that, uh, that tractor runs a lot better than that. I don't know if he was off the throttle before the 100-foot martyr or not. I, I think he was a bit beyond there when it happened. So, But he is a test puller, too. That's, that's one correct. thing in his favor. So he does have an opportunity to, to maybe bring it back. The smoke. Ready to go. Right there. Boy, did you see the wheel spin on that tractor, Harold? Right off the starting line. It was a tremendous amount of wheel speed. And then you saw that in the front end never picked. Front end never picked until the weight transfer box two, 34 and 25. Go pulling here with Jay Fuquay out of Springfield, Tennessee, and the tractor known as Tenacious as he comes to the starting line here. Your leader out of Spencer, Wisconsin, Bull Rush. He is your number one man here this afternoon so far. And of course, the Esseries will be coming back in just a minute. On deck will be Daryl Meese in our first John Deere of the afternoon here today. Right now, do we have any Red fans? Come on, Red fans. 
We don't see our IH flag. Guy must still be recovering from last night over there, the guy with the IH flag. Yeah, our IH flag went by the wayside. All right, let's see what happens here now as they get ready to come to the line here. Hope it didn't wind up in jail. <laughs> I'm so too, Harold. Yeah, some of the fans have been known to kick up their heels a little bit when they get to uh, Louisville. They've been cabin fever too long. But so many of you fans really look forward to coming to the National Farm Machinery Show. Great to have you here on behalf of Syngenta. Tenacious come up a good 15 feet short. I think that tractor could run it just a little bit better than that. I don't know. He may have picked a wrong gear here this afternoon. Harold also, I'll tell you, for Jay Fuqua. Fuqua, 208 and 87 for the man out of Springfield, Tennessee here this afternoon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you what. Here is a man that can absolutely, we were talking about speed a while ago. Here you go. This guy has pretty much, along with uh, some of the guys out of Wisconsin uh, and Kevin Folks and a boy, a few of these guys have really developed this alcohol with these tractors. And here is one of them right here in light superstock. Well, they call it the squealer. He's kind of in, in, into the pork production. And this tractor also, we've seen it load down, put all the weights on it, run in with the big boys. That's right. He can do it. We got him right there. Okay. All right. Some of you guys like to see the first green one in the sand. Here's pile. the first green one of the afternoon, John Deere fans, and here we go. Oh, oh, oh man, oh man. Right there. John Deere fans, stand up and be counted. Wow. What we tell you, folks, watch the green one here. That was one fine run. The young man just laid down, no doubt about it. He put it in the sand. Daryl Meese, ladies and gentlemen, out of Oblong, Illinois. Let's give him a nice round of applause one more time. Daryl Meese. This is just the, uh, yeah, this is the entertainer too, and then the entertainer, these guys are campaigning two tractors now. I think so. Yeah. Oh, fans, I'm telling you, I don't like to hear all that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's put your hands together for Al Cook. What do you say, ladies? I'm giving him a little bit of encouragement. We don't exactly know what happened to the tractor. We'll walk over and see if Al happens to know. We'll go over and check out with him. Feelings right now? I don't know what to think. Uh, it's pretty disappointing. Thought we had a good shot of maybe compete with Daryl, but it didn't happen today. Well, just don't give up. Keep heading away there, man. We won't. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, let's give him a nice round of applause to Al Cook. How about it? Indianapolis, Indiana, ladies and gentlemen. 136.96. 136.96 for Al Cook on a disappointing run. Do we have any Blue Blaze fans? Where are you? Very good. Tell him, let him get it finished. We'll give him applause and then we'll go in, okay? Yeah, disappointing 136.96 here today for. 244 will be a full pull. 244 will be a full pull. We have one tractor out the door right now. 244 will be a full pull here today. 
All right, here we go. Here's the boys out of Bardstown, Kentucky. Did he make it? I don't know. He backed out of her. He sure did. I think that sand pile started scaring him a little bit. I really think it did. He we got a little flame bit. in there, guys, or I think they got it all taken care of. Wow. Remember, 244 is a full pull. Well, let's wait and see what we have here. 239.01. 239.01. He did not make it, but a good solid second right there for Tom Wilhite. 239.01. Wow. Well, he had no choice. He had to get out of her. He was right on the chalk line. Point of no recovery. He was on that right break for a long time, but they just couldn't bring it around. How about if fans give him a nice tough luck round of applause? Walking tall. Excuse me, Harold, don't worry about me. You just go on and take care of the show. I'm over here doing my work. Don't worry about it, Harold. That's okay, Butch. You just enjoy yourself. We'll I'm, over here, I'm over here taking care of all this. Our first tractor of the afternoon has come back. Ladies and gentlemen, right after this class, we're going into the pro stocks here this afternoon, into the pro stockers. Well, this tractor had some bad luck the first run. It just didn't quite cooperate with him. I don't know. This back here had the hood lift up making some final adjustments, and we hope that Kevin gets this evening thunder tracker off and going. I think it's the only case tractor in the field. Boy, that didn't sound good at all. Well, I'll tell you what, his sister Brandy's gonna let him have it now. That's pretty much her tractor there, but. Kind of frustrating for the Esries here this afternoon and the evening Thunder Machine. Let's give him a nice round of applause, folks. How about it? Harold will take it away down there and see if you get a word with uh, Kevin Essery. Okay, fans, remember 244 is a full pull. We only had one of those so far. That's that squealer tractor. So if you want 244, you got to be in the sand. Very good tractor out of Wisconsin, out of the Badger State Pullers up there. Wait, folks, here we go. David Chappelle on order, I mean on deck with him right after this. Boy, he got the old chiropractor treatment, didn't he? Wow. That could be hard on your hemorrhoids, that's for sure. But look at the sidewalls on the tractor. That shows you how hard those tires was bouncing. I just, Might have a little clutch problems there. Well, I just went. 224 and 25 for Mark Basing. Dave Chappelle up next, and Joe Womble out of Tennessee. Next guy, David Chappelle out of Owenton, Kentucky. And the tractor known as Let It Ride. He'll be up next. In that lightweight uh, class was real strong. Of course, you got to think of a guy named Piper, too. Yeah, Henry Piper, one of the oldest pullers in history. Out of Illinois, <laughs> the Holland Harvester Tractor. All right, here we go.
Well, I thought the engine light would want to quit every time. It looked like the wheels would start spinning, and then it would stop. The wheels would start picking it back up again, and then it would stop. And that little bit of problem sounded like a fuel problem there. 3.16. 183.16. 183 183.16. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a nice round of applause as he leaves street metal. I did it. Definitely. Probably what has happened here. Change the chassis. Here we go, Joe Wombo, folks, out of Trenton, Tennessee. Butch, did you see that? His Spot. right wheel, he was on the brake so hard. Did you see the, the fire come right out of that right big disc brake? A lot of sparks, a lot of sparks. He was sparking that. He was on that brake from, from day one. There's something wrong down there, and we'll go find out what it is. We'll go down and take a look at it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Joe Wamba, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Butch, that rear end is so hot in that little bit of a distance that the smoke is still coming out of there. He was, he was on the right brake. The left one was already shore off. So everything on the inside was going around and around as fast as it could, creating a tremendous amount of heat into the rear end of the tractor. And that's when we saw the sparks coming out of the right side of the machine there. Oh. Red fans. All right, let's see what Larry's got up his sleeve here this afternoon. Here we come. Sounding strong. Just like that. <laughs> Man, if he didn't have to get out of her, he, he would have been there. But that insanity tractor will drug him off to the left side. Look at the heat of the engine built up there. Hell, did you see the, how the oil changed real quick and just kind of went to the cream color of the oil? They heated up so fast on him. That's called blow by. Right past the rings of the piston, that oil. 236.01. That's going to stick him, it looks like, in the number three spot with that hook. 236.01. He goes number three here this afternoon. They're a long time in the top three. How about the Red fans? Are you happy to be in the top three? Where's the Red fans now? And it's a good little tractor, too. See, that red one's on the bump spot, three. I'll bet these green fans would love to bump that red one out of here. Could easily happen right now. Let's find out. Here comes Randy Payne. Mount Hermon, Kentucky. Boy, it's just in Randy's day, I'll tell you. Broke a smokestack right there in the tube. Oh, the duct tape broke, okay. You mean the duct tape didn't hold for once in its life here? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. 8.86. 203 and 86 for Randy Payne. Mount Hermon, Kentucky. What do we got coming up next, Butch? A little mini mo coming your way. A Minneapolis Moline. Hey, we never asked if we had any mini mo fans. Do we have any old mini mo fans around here yet? You bet. Mini mo, many, many years ago. One of the strong tractors. I can remember the way back when, the 12, 14,000, the mini mo G1000s back here were real tough to beat. And they made those G1000s with several different options. You could have got one alcohol too, couldn't you, to start off the bat with? LP. And LP, okay. Yeah. And then diesel also. So. Sure. I can remember Myron Riddle had one here. It had a sign on it, power without smoke, the G1000 LP. So, here comes a nice little mini mo. This guy's real tough. 
Now, this is John Hall. We also had the other brother, Aaron Hall. He's got a little bit bigger tractor that he runs also right. alcohol. And he did not have it here with us this weekend, but he generally runs in the heavy in the heavy uh, super stock alcohol. Aaron Hall does. They're all, both of them out of Wampum, Wisconsin. Have you ever been to Wampum, Wisconsin? Never in my life that I know of. Do you want to go strong? Super Farm and a lot of other classes. Mainly Super Farm, though, they really excel. Well, well he backed out of her. They'll probably take him back and get him his second hook at it. Fans, they, uh, if you're off the throttle before the 100-foot mark, you have the right to take it back. And you get, your set, you get two chances to move the weight transfer machine and then uh, take it on back. You know, we were talking about this weight transfer machine, but you know, a lot of people we talked to, they write. And when the back of the pan starts, that's when it's pulling. And that starts getting pretty tough. I read his lips. He said, oh, shoot. Yeah, right. Well, that's got to be disappointing. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give John Hall a nice round of applause. All the way from Wampum, Wisconsin, with the Wampum Mini Mo, the Minneapolis Moline, here today. 124 and 52. 124 and 52. These were uh, Canadian made, American assembled, the cockshot tractor. Way back when, the cockshots were real popular in pulling and modified. I believe there, every rear end that was available went through somewhere along the line on a, on a modified tractor. But this is a relatively latest model of the cockshots made. There wasn't too many made after this model right here. Let me ask you this, Harold. Let, 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 let him run and I'll ask you the question because I always wondered this. That's a nice little run. That's a quiet run, little tractor, isn't it? There was a cock shut sitting out in a barn out near Palmyra, Indiana, last year. And I kept looking at it sitting there and looking at it sitting there thinking, boy, would that make a nice little antique puller? Somebody else thought a little bit faster than I did and got it. You know, so. so. 70, ladies and gentlemen, we've got one more to go. Sean Lancaster. Then we're going to crown our champion here this afternoon. One more to go. Well, we have blue, we have red, we have green in the Lucky, because there are none. They sold out so quick this year, it was unbelievable. All right, here we go now, on the line with the entertainer, John Lancaster. Well, the entertainer didn't get the job done, Butch. But that driver's got so much history in this building. How about it, fan? Let's give him a nice round of applause. John Lancaster. The old D21. As soon as we have his this row, 0.61. 190.61 here this afternoon for John Lancaster. Tractor. Number 14 went to the Wampus Cat tractor. The 13 spot went to Evening Thunder. 12 went to the Minneapolis Moline. In the number 11 spot went to the Entertainer 2. In the number 10 spot went to Let It Ride. In number 9 went to the Entertainer Tractor. 8 went to the Guesswork. 7 went to the Levy Leaper. 6 went to the Trinocious. And in the number 5 spot, the Bomb. 4 was the Bull Rush. And Butch has the top three in the winner's circle. To win a class three years in a row has to say something about you and your tractor and your people that your mechanics, your your engine suppliers, whatever. Because I tell you what, it, I, it's just 
There's some guys that have won three and four times here at Louisville, but I don't think that I, in my recollection here, in my 26 years, that I can remember somebody winning three years in a row. Congratulations, Daryl. Well, thanks, Butch. I mean, it's really an opportunity to get to run here to begin with, and and I, and and to win this thing three years in a row is just something that you always think about but never really figure that it'll happen. You always think something won't go wrong, stub your toe, miss your weight. But I got to thank you know Brent Long Long Machine for supplying an engine that that just seems to run strong and ever and ever and 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 the drive line and everything we've got it beefed up pretty good and and these old wore out set of tires J and L does a good job on them and and uh, just everything works have you ever thought about trying to jump up to the big boys run up with the uh, the lustics of the world the Kwiatkowski's of the world have you got any plans to do that well it's going to come to a decision we got to make one of these days because we're no, no longer run lightweight uh, it, Midwest wide like we once used to. I mean, that's what we're set up. We built a lightweight tractor, and, and now we can't run it for reasons that we won't get into. But overhead it, cam, Yes, overhead cam. Yeah, overhead but cam. we're to the point where we're going to have to either uh, build a new lightweight engine that meets the rules or, or a new chassis and go heavy, and we're not sure what we want to do. Well, whatever you do, I wish you luck because I'll tell you what, over the last three years you've been a dynamic competitor here. You've been just absolutely... The, the represent this class very well all over the country when we uh, see you when you run like super stock we know last year that kind of got the old bomb stuck to you so uh, anyway which you know that's rules are rules and rules be made and uh, some things get changed and it's unfortunate but Daryl congratulations here three years in a row I don't see anybody do it congratulations well thanks Butch I do want to take time and thank the fair board committee in Syngenta and, and the committee for letting allowing the lightweight to run here and especially allowing me to participate all right Daryl Mee, Soblong, Illinois, three years in a row, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Representing the Kentucky State Fair Board, we have Mr. Bill Toll. Representing the uh, Syngenta Corporation this afternoon, we have Mr. Jeff Kaiser. Tom, I know you would have pointed and put it in the sand, but it just didn't happen today. But it's not a bad run. Everything stayed together. Everything looks good. We thought you definitely were going to sand, but just came up a little bit short. Well, I thought I was going to hit it, too. Uh, I done had it judged where I was going to let out of it, and it just kind of snuffed itself out. We might have had it a little bit too rich. Now, will you be able to continue running in the Midwest and lightweight super stock, or are you going to have to do uh, some changes, too? Uh, no, I think we're, we're pretty much maxed out on what we can do. Uh, if they change the rules, you know, to let you run components, you know, that, that would be the next step. I see. I see. Have you guys ever thought about jumping up, too? Uh, we don't really want to do that much traveling. I see. You just rather stay home and do some local pulls and some other things here, right? Kind of homeboys. I understand that. Homeboys. All right. Hey, bring brother in here so he can get the picture, too. We want everybody here. The Will Height Brothers, ladies and gentlemen, out of Bardstown, Kentucky. Want to give my thanks today? Yes, I want to thank the fire board. They put on an excellent show. Syngenta. I want to thank all the people that helped us. We wouldn't be able to do it without all the people that helped us. All right. Another great Kentucky tractor here, ladies and gentlemen. Right there, Tom Will Height. Bardstown, Kentucky, down Nelson County Way. Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? The Will Heights. Well, you got to be happy, bud. Not bad at all, right? I am tickled to death. And you've, uh, you've already moved the thing up to the big areas if you would have to, wouldn't you? Do I now? You could you make this thing go to the big time if you had to? We're, we're going to make a few of those hooks. Last fall, that's what we was doing. And, and we had to either go on forward or back up and punt. So we went on and built this new chassis over the winter. And uh, we couldn't make our diesel come here. So I called the board here, and they said, well, just bring one of them. So here we are with a new component in light class. Question I have for you. Do you like diesel better or alcohol? I don't know. I'm still an old smoke guy, you know. <laughs> You've been an old smoke guy all your life, haven't you? I've been an old smoke guy all my life. But I do like it, though. I know you do, Larry. Anybody you want to thank today? I got a lot of them. I, I, we need to thank the fair board and St. Jenna for having us here. It's a, it's a real nice show, a lot of colors. I need to thank Full Pool Motorsports. Gene Charver. Uh, <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> Body Shop. Jeff Sipes. Mama help. Go ahead. Hey, Mama. Did you wish her happy Valentine's Day yet? Not yet. Okay. She gave me my Valentine's card last week because she said I ain't gonna be able to talk to you next week, so I'm gonna give it to you this week. All right. Congratulations. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, what a character. Larry Phillips, ladies and gentlemen, out of Vine Grove, Kentucky. Give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Our trophy presenters, once again, Jeff Kaiser representing Syngenta and Mr. Bill Toll representing the Kentucky State Fair Board guy out of Mason County.